Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So this video today, uh, so this video today is from a uh, viewer's uh, request. The viewer's uh, name on uh, YouTube is Hell's Haven of Fury. So get a real name, but I guess it's good enough. But anyway, Hell, uh, you asked if uh, Harry and Meghan will be uh, doing another Oprah interview. I've got to tell you, my my conscious self really uh, is. It feels like that's pr probably pretty unlikely. And, you know, you can't say never, ever, ever, but I would think, you know, in the context of, you know, in the next um, few months or in, in the present time, will they be doing another interview? Um, we're going to, I'm going to try to clear my mind of that, open it up to the collective consciousness and see if I can uh, connect with an answer for your question. Will Harry and Megan do another Oprah interview? We'll see. So, hey, this is Mark and um, we're going to... Um, asked the question that was asked of me through one of our, my viewers, uh, whose uh, handle, I guess you could call it on YouTube, is Hell's Haven of Fury. The question was, will Harry and Meghan do another Oprah interview? So I'm really going to try to clear my mind. This may be some extended shuffling, so just be prepared for that. And I'm going to use for this the vice versa tarot. Seemed appropriate to me. Uh, for this uh, uh, reading. I love this uh, uh, Vice Versa Tarot, and I love the box it comes in. It's got one of those cool magnetic uh, catches on it. It must be buried in here somewhere. And then it's got a very good uh, guidebook that comes with it that really speaks to the cards and the color. And uh, these cards are interesting because they kind of tell you, for instance, one side of the cards is, is, is just what you'd expect. And they call that the this side. And then when you flip the card over, you're going to get the that side. So we have death, this side. And you notice that these folks are kind of looking death square in the face in this case. And you can tell that it's a this side from this little uh, embellishment that's in the right-hand corner of the card. Now, when the card is flipped over, then you're going to get to the that side. And you'll notice that the embellishment is now on the left-hand side of the card. And this is almost, uh, the in this case, death looking down over these subjects. So see, here they are here looking up, and here they are being looked at by death. So that's kind of a little bit of the significance of the this and that of the, um, the vice versa tarot. Love the cards, too. They're nice quality cards, and you'll see what I mean. They're this, and they're, well, in this case, they're this. See the embellishment here? And then they're that. So we'll go through this with um, uh, the question of what uh, will Megan and Harry uh, be doing another Oprah interview very interesting i guess question um i'm really going to concentrate on those two megan and harry i'm going to ask that um, i get some uh, clearance and some protection uh in this question uh, uh before we go too far and see if we can divine uh what's going to happen here well, uh, it's a little tricky because when you're dealing the cards, obviously you can see, uh, you know, the card. I mean, you know, when you're looking at this, you know that it's uh, a, wand, a Nine of Wands card on the other side. So it's a little tricky to use them, but I think if you just block your mind out, which is much what I have to do right now, I kind of have to block my conscious uh, mind out and just leave it up to the ether and, uh, and see uh, how this comes out for us. Megan and Harry. Megan and Harry, let's... Let's connect with you, Megan and Harry. You know, Megan is very pregnant right now, and this is in the time of uh, Prince Philip's uh, passing, where Megan's not going to be traveling to the family seat, as it were, to uh, to be in that funeral uh, on uh, advice of her doctor. They say Harry will be going, but where his uh, sibling and uh, some of the others there will be uh, in their military uniforms, uh, since Harry has gone through the separation from uh, the royal family to some extent. Uh, he's not uh, um, representing uh, the military aspect, and so he won't be in uniform. He'll be in a suit. So that's interesting. But I'm wondering, we want to know, will Meghan and Harry be doing another Oprah interview? And let's see how we get the Oprah element into this. Oprah, 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 Oprah. 
you, my dear Oprah, are a very interesting person. And how do you figure into all of this? Because, you know, the, the, you think that these things come together uh, because um, someone of the, the couple in question would say, yeah, let's go find somebody to talk to about this. But uh, when you're on that level of uh, the world's attention, as they are, uh, it could be someone is coming to you to say, why don't you tell me uh, what you want to say? And uh, so is that Oprah? Is she? And then her situation is not unlike Harry and Meghan in that they're taking a break, and it is how I see it, from the, uh, the, the royal uh, entanglement. That, uh, that guides all those uh, rules lives. They're taking a break from that. They're separated from that. They've gone uh, to a place where they can breathe on their own. And uh, Oprah is at a place in her life where she's not dependent on uh, chasing down an interview, uh, looking for an answer in particular. She's got a very comfortable life where she can make uh, decisions about how she's going to spend. You know, and we do spend, we, we, like a currency, we spend our lives. So if you're spending your life in front of the television, if you're spending your life uh, yelling at your neighbor, if you're spending your life loving your children, if you're spending your life as being in service to others, you know that's how you're spending your money. And your money, your value is your life. So Harry and Meghan, how are you going to spend this little piece of your life? And Oprah, how are you going to come into that? Will you even? So, let's see how this comes. You know there's a gap right here. This is Oprah. This is Harry and Meghan. Clear to me. I mean, right off the bat. So, I need six cards. And uh, you know what? I'm going to pull all the cards at once now. I don't usually do that. I usually take six and then another four. But I'm going to pull them all at the same time. I'm going to take six for Harry and Meghan here. These, uh, I hope, will give me some information about Oprah. And then we'll put it all together and see if it makes a sensible reading. So, for Harry and Meghan... Let's take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for Oprah, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so then we'll put all these away. And we'll keep them here in case we need them to clarify in a little bit. I'm gonna, these are the four cards that I drew. I'm going to put them right there and they'll be waiting for me uh, while we do uh, this first part. And the way that I'm going to use these cards is I will be flipping them over to reveal the, the side that's not shown to us uh, uh, for this reading. So Harry and Megan, what are your intentions? Uh, do you expect, is it in your, um, in your consciousness not right now to do another Oprah interview? And it's a tricky ask because you're dealing with two people's consciousness. They're even separated now by an ocean, but they should be joined in their souls. And so uh, let's see if we can get uh, some clarity on this for Harry and Meghan. Oprah interview. Is that going to happen? The signifier for this then uh, is the King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords uh, is truth. That's what I'm going to say this card is. Uh, no uh, questions about what the other definitions of this card may be. The King of Swords, in this case, is truth. And this fella is, is standing in the mist, in the fog of what reality can be, uh, uh, ready to show us his gleaming sword of truth. So that's what we have right there. We have truth wanting to be seen out of the mist. The uh, challenge to that truth, then is the four of swords and you know the four of swords is telling us to stop be careful don't get up right now you could get hurt if you do take us this time to really consider what's happening with you and this fella is looks like he's really been through some challenges he's really needing this deep 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 rest before he attempts to uh to get up and deal with the issues that are hanging uh, over him. So this truth is challenged by this need for a break, a break. The uh, base of this reading then is going to be the three of wands. And you know what? The three of wands is long-term planning. And now uh, it, it occurs to me that this could uh, uh, portend that there's some long-term planning for some follow-up 
uh, on that initial interview. Or, you know, you could think of it as long-term planning for just how things play out for them. But, you know, I was really specific in this question, and I'm asking here, will there be a follow-up interview with Oprah? Uh, and so this could be telling us that there, they could be uh, lighting a fire towards uh, something in the future. Um, it's not definitive yet, so let's see what else we have. In the past, for this reading... Uh, we have um, the, oh, what is this? One, two, three. This is the Empress. Yes. So the Empress is uh, the gentler, uh, for me anyway, the gentler uh, um, spirit of the Emperor. She's the, uh, the, they're the yin and the yang. And so this uh, Empress is facing her future. Um, in her past, there seems to have been death. And, you know, unpleasantness, a swampiness that is behind her. And, and this empress is looking towards the future. And all this, this is a tree, obviously, but it almost looks like a big puff of an explosion of some kind. And uh, so navigating uh, this uh, path ahead uh, could be this very fruitful. Uh, this empress, don't think that she doesn't have value to bring to the, to the, to the fore. She's got a little, a little, uh, telltale a little bird right here ready to whisper in her ear uh, when to move on and she's got all these lovely uh, roses creeping up over her throne and as beautiful as roses are we all know that you can prick yourself on the thorns so this empress i feel like has has put the swampiness the the death behind her this could even be uh prince philip uh behind her and is looking to the future how to, uh, to maneuver this forward that's what we've got in the past so that, and this is the recent past. This is the very recent, recent um, uh, past for this couple. So for me, this is Harry. For me, this is Megan. And for me, this is the couple. And for me, this is the planning. Okay, so now let's go to the sky of this reading. In the sky of this reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune just tells us that, you know, it's a crapshoot. Things can happen. Uh, and uh, and you may not be fully uh, aware of how that's going to uh, uh, occur right now. But uh, we've got a, a blue sky full of potential uh, passion or caring or emotion, and we've got a big paw, paw on that uh, wheel of fortune uh, getting ready to give it a good spin. So let's see what's going to be the next part of this. Uh, so that's where we are with that. Wheel of Fortune. So it kind of means it's up in the air. You know, it's just not set, but there could be plans for something in the future. The likely outcome of all of this, ah, the, the likely outcome of this involves lots of issues, lots of very fruitful, blossoming uh, things coming into the picture. Uh, you know, wands are emotion, fire, uh, getting things done. They're planning. And uh, so there, there could be a lot of moving parts to this. Very, very interesting. Okay, so now we're going to get to, I hope, what is the Oprah part of this question. We've got four cards right here, and we're going to go down to the self, the self of, of Oprah regarding this uh, question of will there be another interview. The self of Oprah, then, ah, is the Nine of Wands. You know, the Nine of Wands speaks to someone who has been through the battle. They've, they've, they've organized uh, whatever it was that was causing uh, issues, and they're a bit beat up by it. But uh, this fella, I think, would be ready to pick up that wand and go at it again. Although right now, it looks like he's not much interested in jumping at it. So this could be a perfect uh, scenario for Oprah. You know, she's been through her life and uh, this interview again. And uh, while she's not letting these issues go, she's got them planted firmly in front of her. Um, it could be that uh, they're willing to wait until something causes, uh, she's willing to wait until something causes her to have to move forward. And for her, a cause to move forward may just be the enticement of an interesting, uh, really interesting uh, interview, perhaps. I don't know. Now, the environment that this is in, if we're going to consider that this is Oprah, Oh, yes, is the high priestess. And, you know, the high priestess is a perfect example 
of who uh, Oprah might be. Uh, they, they stand here um, between the uh, pillars of the tomb of Solomon uh, with, and, uh, and, and with the book of knowledge and studying the issue and ready to take a step forward if she has to with this exposed foot here and with a couple of scrolls here that have already been, already been uh, discarded. Um, yeah, I would say that she's in the environment of a studious, um, a studious life almost. Okay, S studying the issue, waiting to see what happens. The hopes and the fears for this issue is as to whether Harry and Meghan will do another Oprah interview is, oh, who are you? Let me look on the other side to see if it helps me better define this. The four. Is this the four? Is this the emperor? This is the emperor. Yeah. Okay. So the emperor. So this is good because this gives me a, a continuity and it gives me a bridge because this is the hope and the fears uh, to the past. So we've got the empress on this side and we've got the emperor on this side. It seems to be the bookend of, of this. So uh, in the hopes and the fears, I think the emperor, emperor as Oprah is wanting to close the book to to um, leave this in a completed uh, form. Um, you know, I don't know if this makes sense. It's just what's, good, what's coming to me at this moment with these cards. He's he's in control. He's keeping this up in the air. He knows what he needs to do. He's aware of the entire situation. And this emperor is a, um, a thoughtful uh, ruler, I feel. I love it that the empress and the emperor kind of bookmark uh, this little reading. But the likely outcome of all of this then, ah, is the five of swords. And the five of swords speaks to an abuse. An abuse of power, uh, taking advantage of, um, someone uh, being uh, uh, um, made to, um, gosh, feel uh, that they have to show an allegiance to or a fealty to uh, someone else. Um, very interesting likely outcome. So this likely outcome says to me that um, someone may take advantage of the situation. Someone may take advantage of the situation. Um, if we're going to go back to Harry and Meghan, um, this could be, because people seem to think that Meghan is the driving force uh, in this controversy, and who's to say that uh, Harry uh, isn't uh, tasting some of this freedom too and willing to spend his uh, value to move things forward. So I'm going to say, uh, overall, this looks like it's not out of the question. I would say it's a long-term uh, plan, if it is a plan at all right now, it may be a long-term plan. And uh, it could be something that's being kept in the hip pocket uh, to spend later on. So again, this first part was Meghan and Harry. The second part was uh, more Oprah, but with a big finish, I think, of uh, managing this possible abuse of this uh, uh, value. Well, that was pretty interesting. I mean, I'm not sure if that's what I expected out of this reading, but uh, that's what I got. So um, it looks like with the Empress in the in the uh, recent past and with the Emperor, how is this showing up on camera? Maybe we should do it this way. With the Empress in the recent past and with the Emperor and with the Emperor. Okay, is this the Emperor? No, that's the Empress. This is the Empress. If you haven't tried to do this in front of a camera, give it a shot. It's a little uh, challenging. But they bookend this reading. Um, and uh, that is very interesting. So I hope... Uh, hell, that that was a good answer for you, and um, and I hope the rest of you enjoyed it too. Well, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you very much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. I'll be here tomorrow, so if you want to, uh, you know, make an exploration into another avenue, feel free to stop by. But ciao for now.